good morning and welcome here to the chapel of St. Pascal Balon Church on the east side of St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm Deacon Richard Moore. And thank you for joining me on this sixth Sunday, sixth Monday of Easter. Easter is, is progressing along and I really hope that it's been a time where you really have experienced the love of God and the resurrected Christ. In the name of the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. As we gather this morning, we're always mindful of God's great love and forgiveness for each one of us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of mercy, may our celebration of your Son's resurrection help us to experience its effect in our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Taurus, making a straight run for Samarites, and on to the next day to Nepolis, and there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia, and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river, where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Titeria, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord appeared to her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, Come and stay at my house. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm is from the 149th Psalm. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song a praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Hallelujah. The Lord takes delight in his people. Hallelujah. 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 The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the peace of the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you do not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the hour comes, you may remember 
that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditating on this Gospel this morning, there's that last line that really kind of jumped out at me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you remember that I told you. And just kind of thinking, well, why is that jumping out at me? That's, I was thinking, the last few weeks, uh, Henry Nowen, there's a society has been sending reflections they do every day, beautiful reflections in the morning to reflect on. And the last few weeks have been about meditation, quiet prayer, sitting with God. And I was thinking back a few years when I was at a, um, a parish mission. And the person giving the mission talked about praying your memories, praying your memories, sitting quietly and going back and, and thinking about those moments in your life, especially those moments where the Holy Spirit revealed itself so beautifully in your interactions with people. Because there's so many times, it's, it's like our first reading today, that the Holy Spirit will come to us through others. Lydia, the Holy Spirit comes to her, but then she opens up to Paul and the other disciples to stay with her so that they can discern where the Holy Spirit wants them to go. I think it's really valuable Sometimes you just sit quietly. You know, you think back through the past days, past weeks, past months, past years, to events in your life. And you just sit there quietly and think, how was the Holy Spirit made present to me in those events? Who came into my life through those events? How did the Holy Spirit move and maybe change my perspective, maybe enliven me, maybe lift me up in a bad situation. And go back and just sit with those moments and dive deeper into them. What is God saying? What is the Holy Spirit moving you to do? I find this to be a real valuable thing. I don't do it all the time, and I don't think we should do it all the time or else we get stuck in our past. But it is valuable to go back and sit and think and mind those memories for how was the Holy Spirit working. Because then it makes us aware that the Holy Spirit is working all the time around us in amazing ways. And as we go through life, we'll become more in tune when the Holy Spirit does come through others like Lydia that offer us hospitality. Or maybe in tough events like Jesus is telling us that the Holy Spirit will be with us and we'll recognize that and we can lean on that power of the Holy Spirit. So take some time in your prayer once in a while just to think back through the past week or month and how has the Holy Spirit been manifested to you? How has the Holy Spirit empowered you? How has the Holy Spirit lifted you up? in the events of your life. As a people of God, we are called to pray for the world, so let us offer our prayers to God. Lord, we pray for our church, that we can continue the mission work, to go out, to proclaim the gospel, to bring the Holy Spirit into the world. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our country as we move forward, that we can end all hate crimes directed towards others because of their race. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our parish here, St. Paschal Balon, as we move this coming weekend to celebrate 75 years as a parish. We rejoice and we look back at how the Holy Spirit worked 
but we also look forward. And let's pray that the Holy Spirit guides us into the future. We pray to the Lord. Pray for those that are sick and suffering in any way, that the Lord Jesus would come to them through others to strengthen them, to heal them, to give them courage and hope. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those that have died and gone before us, that they would be in the loving and embrace of God forever. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we offer you these prayers confident that you are listening, and we offer them through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us now offer in confidence the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. And I offer you peace this morning. Offer peace to those that might be around you. And let us just take a moment here in silence to offer and pray for peace for those that we need, know that need peace. Let us together offer an act of spiritual communion today. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, look on your people with kindness, and by these Easter mysteries, bring us to the glory of the resurrection. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll have a great day today, and wherever you are, hope you have a wonderful day, and the Lord walks with you, the resurrected Christ. I guess I needed a little extra dose of reminding myself to forgive others. So, let's forgive others. Let's walk with the Lord. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. God bless.